Hey y'all, Dekumon here and welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Last time we are really, really getting close as we got to see Chihiro perform the final evacuation of Sector 4. Well, apart from all our Sentinel pilots that is. And you guys pointed out something and it was a theory I had going that all the other people are basically AI constructs. But again, that then makes the theory that we're in the Matrix kind of suspect. Hmm. Anyway, we have uh, maybe three Remembrance events left before we are able to get back into destruction. And I think we're going to lead off with Takatoshi here because I do want to see where that little cutoff conversation between him and Chihiro is going to lead. And I'm betting that's where this is going to pick up from. So let's jump into Takatoshi and we'll see. Sure. Probably his finale. Oh. The Sector 3 underground. Oh, are we going to see the other end of the evacuation? No. No, we're not. Where do I begin? Well, I think I finally found what we needed. Oh. The answer to our problem. What is it? Well, don't leave me I in suspense, to dude. The introductions first, but oh, introductions, you say? Oh, are you possibly? Hold on. No. Okay. What can I do right now? I have to save everyone. And that means I need to stay at Okino's side. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think. Uh. It's in Naba, right? Miyuki Naba, aka. Uh... Well, I guess we're a bit early. No. Oh. The command ship still behind the horizon. Yep, it is. It's so Toby. Half an hour until they're in combat. It's range. so Toby up on the ship. Now it's a waiting game. You want to just sit here and wait with all the deactivated androids that could wake up at a moment's damn notice? Okay. Go ahead and explain. Yes, I owe you that much. Yes, yes you do. You remember our talk about the decode? Something inside that inner Lossiter? <laughs> it's the thing calling the Dimos, right? You got it. More specifically, the important part is its connections to three discrete points. Mm-hmm. One of those points is the command ship in orbit, which I'll show you here. Yeah, I think we've heard this before. From that ship, it extracts the data of the Dimos themselves. <laughs> that data is used to manufacture them in the automated factories in Sector 1. Then the factory fresh Dimos are deployed to attack universal control. And that's how the decode works. <sighs> so, and disconnecting any one of these three breaks that loop, but doesn't do much about all the Dimos we already have running around. So why do the attacks make people disappear? I might actually have the answer to that one. Well, good. But, well, it'd be better if you heard it from her, the command ship. <laughs> her being Miyuki, a.k.a. Tomi. Uh, okay. Uh, talk to me, game. Or will have to walk away far enough to actually trigger something. Oh, got a lit display over here. Hey, this doll is moving. Uh-oh, got a live one. Stop. Okay, now shoot it. It stopped. Oh. Uh, cool trick, man. Is this doll some kind of enemy? Must have come from above ground. I'm definitely triggering the voice recognition, but... Looks like my operation authority has been revoked. Ugh. My commands aren't enough to shut them down. They'll be back in action soon. Got a gun? My commands aren't. They'll be back in action. Well, piss then. What do we do? Hey. Uh oh, got another one. Too. Stop. This doesn't look good. <sighs> You're telling me. We need to go. Something's off. What's wrong? That console. 
Oh, that one? Yeah, figures. Looks like I can only use the controls from there. <laughs> you stay here. I'll go set the timer. Oh boy. Uh, this is safe. Stop. Uh, okay you now. There's another one. Oh god damn it. And of course now he doesn't get to explain anything because he's fucking dead. Why me? Why only me? I have to get back now, or Okino might not. Nah, he he he's already toast. Someone, anyone? Shit! I need to find someone who knows how to time travel. <sighs> Crap! I know what I saw. Just as I was shifting, I saw Okino, and the androids were after him. I need to Why, get back to him. Are they being? Controlled by universal control? Is that it? Are they Dimos? Or are they being controlled by Ida still? Hmm. Sentinel Damn it. Haro would know. Yeah, but fighting him's a bitch. Haro's Sentinel could also travel in time. Wait, that nurse would know as well. <laughs> so many options, so little time. Well, any of them will do, seriously. Okino was looking into that teacher. Maybe she knows something about time travel. If what Kitaro said is true, the Sentinel's capable of time travel. So if I can take it back from the government and Shikishima, <laughs> maybe I can use it to save Okino. I still think A might be our best bet, uh, mostly because he's got a gun. Crawling to him for help leaves a bad taste in my mouth, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Well, at this point, we'll take any bodies we can get. Come on, I need a body. Somebody. There's nobody here. Crap. This is hardly the time for a snack. <laughs> I don't know, man. That yakisoba pond's still good. I can't seem to find that teacher. Nah, she probably been shot at this point. Oh, hello. Excuse me, miss. There's something I need to ask you. Uh, sure. What's up? Yeah, she doesn't look nervous at all. Uh. <laughs> I'm looking for a teacher named Morimura. Do you have any idea where she might be? Uh, you need to find Miss Morimura? Yes, yes I do. I think she already went home for the day. Ah, uh, of course really? she did. Of all time, she had to be gone during an emergency. I'll have to look somewhere else. <sighs> Oh, I could keep asking her about the other two. I don't think she'll know much, but worth an attempt. You've been in the area for a while, right? She probably has never seen uh, characters? A or Miura. Fishy. Yeah, right in front of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, never mind. Yeah, I gotta say, might not want to answer that question. And Miura. I'm looking for a boy named Miura. Never heard of him, right? He'd be wearing a school hat. Has he been around here? A school hat? Oh, you mean that middle schooler kid? Oh my god, is this actually gonna work? Uh, sorry. I don't really know anything. Ugh. But you might want to talk to one of our track members. Not to know! Where would I find them? Around now, she'd probably be at the rest area. <laughs> well, Understood. I'll be damned. Thank you. <laughs> Miura was actually the right answer. Oh jeez. Okay, find people capable of shifting. All right, go to the break area. Natsuno, Natsuno, where are you? You're not Natsuno. You are not Natsuno. Uh, Dude, can you what? stop looking quite so intense there? Seriously. I'm looking for Miura, a boy with an old school hat. Any idea where I might find him? A school hat? You mean Natsuno's boyfriend? <laughs> Natsuno? One of my friends in track has a boyfriend. And he always wears this super vintage looking school hat. I wouldn't really call him a boyfriend, but okay. Do you know where he is? Hmm. He wasn't near the athletics building. Come on. I do remember something. Come on, spill it. Oh, I've seen him around the old school building. Okay, old school building, go. Old school building. So, the wooden schoolhouse. Thank you. Much appreciated. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Time is of the instance. Okido's probably bleeding out here. 
<sighs> Miura! Miura, this is really the time for reminiscing. Oh my goodness, it is. <laughs> I cannot believe we're doing this now. Seriously. Uh, um, this is for you. Oh my goodness, no way! I really like you. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh my goodness! Don't be crazy. I, I... Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> you little know, bastard. <laughs> isn't this where I confessed to Ninji Ogata too? That seemed like it really got to you. <laughs> I thought you might be feeling left out, so. You little troll, you Okino. Seriously. You thought it'd make me happy for a man to confess to me. Guess not. <laughs> huh. You rascal. <laughs> well. Miura! Miura! He's not here. I gotta get actually into the wooden skill building. <sighs> He's probably not gonna be here. Might run into A though. He tends to frequent this damn place. Nobody here. Crap. Of course not. Yeah. Oh, hey, Natsuno. You? Wait, maybe... This was the correct area to search. Oh, hey, Miura. Other Miura. It is him. Wait, that's... <laughs> You're the scout unit that was with Sekigahara. Why do you have this? Who are you? Let me take you. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh my. Especially with a name called BJ. <laughs> Let me take you to Okino's location. Oh, okay, fine. Less awkward, more useful. He has been wounded by androids. His condition is critical. Still don't know why the androids are what? on the rampage. Other than they may be Dimos. Who exactly are you? It's Miura, dude. How do you know about Okino? Television broadcasts and command ship transmissions. Oh. Yuki Inaba used them to inform me. <laughs> well, that's convenient. Natsuno, he will need it. Oh, sure. Need what? Here. Oh, a gun. What is this? A phaser. You will need a weapon to neutralize the androids. Some kind of future gun? Yep. I extracted it from the Shikishima Laboratory. It was designed based on data from the mainframe. Natsuno, <laughs> please stay here. What? Oh. Then let's move. Let's go, baby! Oh, they're just, they're just standing around waiting for me to shoot their asses. Okino! Three active androids detected. Crap. I'm on it. Shoot one! Come on. Shoot number two! The other one's behind us. The other one's behind us. Come on, give me that prompt. And there's three. Is it over? <sighs> All that seems to do is turn them off for a little while. Like, you guys gotta actually dismantle these things while they're deactivated. Okino, where are you hurt? <sighs> Don't worry, I'll get you to a hospital. <laughs> Don't talk, I'm here. The letter, read. My letter. Oh my goodness. No! Hokino! Oh. Oh, son of a no. bitch! We are all AI constructs. Aren't we? Every last one of us. Because he's one of the 15, and he poofed out. Oh Okinos. shit. Oh shit. He's gone. Universal control. 
has isolated him. <sighs> Alright, let's see what's in that letter then. Oh, come on, do not leave me hanging. Do not so leave me hanging. Here. Okay, no. Yeah, you better read this damn thing. You don't have much of a knack for love letters. Come on, I want to see what's in this. The invasion force is approaching Sector 4. So I'd like to share the Sentinel with you. Oh. I hid it in the ocean in Sector 5. <laughs> it's the one I piloted. Sentinel number 12. Ah, this is where he finally gets his if Sentinel. If happens to me, you'll need access to it. So I made one last adjustment to your body on my own. The sentinel activation switch is on your left forearm. <laughs> you bastard. That scout unit said you were isolated. If you really are alive, if you're out there somewhere, then you're going to need a home to return to. Yeah. It would be a shame if it was gone. So... I'll fight to my last breath to save it. That's all the reason I need. <laughs> all right. Time for Takatoshi to get now in his fancy go. robot. Sentinel number 12. And that's it, isn't it? No, there's Finally, more. Oh, I was wondering when you'd show up. Oh, ho, ho. the hell? What was that? I thought I heard Okino's voice. You did. It's me. Okino. The hell? You can't see them, but I do still have legs. No ghosts here. <laughs> so the scout was right. I'm still alive. Well, shit. Because we shared the Sentinel. You're the only one who I can communicate with. Aha! Uh -huh. What can I do? How do I save you? I can't go back to that world anymore. I was cut off from it. To keep me alive. This was the answer, Ijiyama-kun. Remember what we talked about? The mystery process eating up 80% of the inner Lossiter's memory? Uh-huh. Our hearing, vision, scent, touch, and taste. Oh. It was supplying sensory data, everything we ever perceived. It made everything in that world seem real. Shit. That was practically its highest priority function. <laughs> seem real? It's a simulation. You don't mean it was all fake. My home, the factory. Uh huh. The five sectors are not reality. Yes! Besides the 15 of us, Every human we've ever known. They were created by universal control. There we go. Confirmation. The world is a simulated space. A massive, perfect illusion for us. Shit. None of it was real. These cockpits we're in right now, that is reality. Oh my god, we're in pods. My designs for the Sentinels never had cockpits at all. We're in pods. What kind of suicidal moron would get in a 35 meter weaponized metal suit? <laughs> a single conscious recoil impact would hit the pilot like a train crash. Oh man, all oh, the reality of all the mobile suit genres. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so good. Oh, oh my gosh. We really are in the Matrix! We're all in pods! Oh... But then... So the Kaiju, the Sentinels, everything... Is in this simulated reality. Oh sh... Oh! Oh god, there, uh, there it goes, there it goes, my brain. It's all over the floor and all over the walls. There it goes again. God damn it, Vanillaware! That carpet cleaning bill just keeps getting bigger, I swear. <laughs> but then the finished sentinels had ways to get inside. I wasn't too familiar with the systems we'd pulled from the mainframe data. I figured it was just a spec I hadn't noticed at the time. <sighs> but it wasn't even a cockpit at all. They're growth pods meant to keep our bodies healthy. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Excuse me. Are you saying that the sentinels, the real sentinels, are our real bodies? We were Shit. Born inside these pods. Okay, no, we never have mind. Never known life outside of them. Uh, yeah. If all that's true. That sucks. How do we get out? You don't. I don't know if we can get out. But at least one thing's clear. If the Dimos invasion destroys the world we knew, then we will all die inside these pods. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because that's the reset. You guys dying and then being born again from your DNA data. And then the world basically being rebuilt because, as well, you know, it's just goddamn simulation. This also explains the little comment we got earlier when we were fighting the Dimos. It's like, hey, where's all the wreckage? Like, where did that go? Now we know. It's because they're all damn data. Fat chance of that. You're shameless, shrewd, and infuriating. People like you don't die so easily. <laughs> no matter what else may change, my duty is the same. Oh. And that's why Chihiro is so frustrated and so goddamn angry right now. She knows full well that she's screwed. She's not one of the actual 15. She's just a simulated AI. And, you know, her plan was to be downloaded into the real Chihiro's brain, which would be Iori's brain. Well, that didn't work out, so oops. I live in service of my country and the people I love. Hijiyama-kun. It also explains uh, Chihiro and Ida being rather upset with the looping thing and why Ida was so desperate to keep looping because he knew he was screwed. Although he may not actually have even known the true extent of this shit. I will not let you die. I mean, I think Morimura did. Hijiyama-kun. No matter how this ends, I will always be with you. Oh. Uh, Let's go. Yep. Let's go indeed. Wow. To the final battle. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness, that is such a massive mind screw. When the kaiju appear in 1985, Hijiyama reads the letter Okino left for him and activates Sentinel number 12, previously Okino's craft. Since Hijiyama and Okino shared Sentinel 12, Hijiyama was able to communicate with Okino again in the cockpit of the Sentinel. Okino then reveals to Hijiyama that the world they are in is a simulated space and the cockpit is actually the real world. The only world they've ever known. Damn. Although he dies in universal control due to an android attack, he's still able to communicate with Hijiyama inside Sentinel-12. And now we know why! Ah, the Interlocitors! Here's the last part of it. 80% of the Interlocitor memory is used to supply sensory data to their users. This ensures that whatever happens in the simulated reality feels real to them. Oh, the first gens. There's the final entry for the first gens. Sentinel-12 originally belonged to Okino, but he hid it in the ocean of Sector 5 so that Morimura and the others wouldn't find and retrieve it. In case something happened to him, Okino registered Hijiyama as a pilot. Oh... The cockpit. Since any pilots would suffer enormous damage from a kaiju strike to the Sentinels, Tsukasa Okino's original design for the Sentinels didn't have a cockpit at all. In fact, it's just a growth pod that you guys are all living in. Oh, the artificial satellite in orbit's got some new information. Connection gets cut off when the satellite is behind the horizon, as that puts it outside of comms range. You really think that a satellite like this would be in geosynchronous orbit over the facility, but yeah, I'm not the one that designed the damn thing. Maybe it's just a fuel issue. Oh, Okino's letter. Letter left to Takatoshi Hijiyama by Tsukasa Okino, who had disappeared. Okino prepared the message in the event that something might happen to him, explaining that he had tinkered with Hijiyama's body, shared Sentinel-12 with him, and placed the activation switch on his left forearm. Unfortunately, Okino failed to buy him dinner afterwards, but damn. <laughs> ah, well that clears Takatoshi, and that leaves only Goto's last couple events. Oh. Oh, this is the missing uh, 2188 log. This data.
is. Is that you, Goto? It's been a while. The last <laughs> time I saw you was two months before my death. Oh, shit. Roughly a year ago, I think. Your death? Chairman Ogata. An AI construct based on Chairman Kendo Ogata. Why would this be in Morimura's files? I see. So this is how she managed to raise all those funds. She must have used this AI to access the Shikishima Chairman's hidden network. Oh ho ho. Not quite. I'm afraid that was originally my idea. The good Professor Morimura was only following my orders. Eh? So all of this was by design. Your design. What, were you trying to cause the singularity? Type nanomachinery to the black market. The catastrophic consequences. Oh. You're the one who exploited her. If you blame anyone, blame yourself. Actually, I'm pretty sure I blame you. It was so close to losing Project Ark entirely. Now we must prioritize the project above all else. I'll finally have my second chance at life. Whoa, what? You're planning on downloading yourself into a clone. A brave new Earth is waiting for me. Whoa. There's actually someone else. This is a name we've not heard. Kengo Ogata. I won't let you do this. What is Professor Morimura doing now? Dying, most likely. She's dead. Yep. By that hitman's hands, I presume. That's humanity. Self-destructive to the very end. Only a few survivors left now. I give them three days at most. Shit. My deepest condolences for your imminent death. Shut up, Construct. Your project is over. <laughs> Wow. Unfortunately for you, the arc is already set off. With you on it, right? Within comms range. You don't have clearance. I refuse to let an AI control the future of humanity. Shit. Is that what's been controlling the androids? Is that like control universal control? This Ogata personality? The survivors. The ones who would have clearance. I am a park. So, suppose I am the professor. Then what? Ah, I see. I want to know the truth. We're continuing this little conversation. I want to know the reasons behind all of this. But that seems unlikely. <laughs> I imagine you're not inclined to tell me anything. And why is that? It'd be inconvenient for you if we had all the facts. Considering you're trying to eliminate us. Hmm, okay. <laughs> So we're back to this point in the conversation. From the very beginning, you never intended for this world to survive. Well, considering this world is now just a simulation. If Operation Aegis succeeds, ah, this is the, the new world one. reset will no longer be possible. This operation goes against Professor Morimura's agenda. She will stop at nothing to prevent it. Really? Three months prior to the and then we've had these you think i'm trying to destroy the world i do so you think i'm enabling the kaiju now even though i've got more reason to hate them than any of you that is true at least you're clearly not on the kaiju's side mm Hmm. after all they are a threat to your primary objective being reborn which would be to carry out the plan you formed in 2188 However, that plan may now be untenable. The situation has deviated too drastically. <laughs> Recall when I brought you to the underground UFO. I believe you said something like... It was out of your hands. Mm-hmm. Remark in the UFO. Ah, Goto's story. So many flashbacks. Speaking of... Oh, back here at Sector 3 with all the not-dead androids. Ugh, this place is just a safety hazard. This 
is the mainframe of the UFO? Mm-hmm. Yes. Honestly, Okinokun. You can't take anything else in life seriously. <laughs> so why do you put so much time into all this? <sighs> yeah. Okino. Yep. Just talking to myself. <laughs> because he basically designed the world, you know, using the backdrop of Mighty Kaiju Daimos. More importantly, look at this mess. Something unpleasant must have happened here. Oh, several unpleasants have Most happened likely. here. You know, got dead androids everywhere. Well, deactivated androids, I should say. The Shikishima android. Still don't have a good explanation of why these guys are running around. Oh, you're gonna say Ida was the one left them here, huh? They've all been shot. External damage suggests the weapon was a phaser. Hmm. They're all out of commission. Too damaged to function. Okay, well, that's a nice change of pace. Let's get started then. Is it really possible? I have a fairly comprehensive grasp of this system. Yeah, I would imagine. This abnormality all comes down to the decode, right? I should be able to get rid of it. Mm-hmm. Why would Miss Morimura push for Operation Aegis if this was an option all along? Well, you said it yourself. She's either being controlled by someone, or she could be trying to save herself. <laughs> That's not right. Yeah. Hold on. That file system hadn't even been analyzed yet. How did you gain access? I have a senior admin ID. Yeah. Access privileges for the entire system. You somehow got access to an account that high level? Well, it is her account originally. Yes. I have my ways. <laughs> this is no good. Sector 3's mainframe has been damaged in an attack. It's barely operational. I won't be able to process much here. <sighs> Not much choice. I'll have to send direct instructions to the command ship. Command ship? The mothership in orbit. Hmm. You can send commands directly to the UFO. Okay, so... Uh... Odds are good that the command ship actually exists. It's probably the original probe that came here and seeded the planet with the terraforming and everything. Is it an arc? Some grand design from the people of the future? Well, not the future. Either that or a base of operations for an alien invasion. <laughs> uh, technically true. It is technically an alien invasion. It's just the aliens happen to be humans. Or the what's left of them? The command ship is cut off. Must be hiding somewhere beyond the horizon. Looks like about thirty-five minutes until the comms reconnect. Hmm. But we don't have that long. Time to find another link. Will this fix cut off the Kaiju's attacks? It should be able to solve the problem at its core. However, we can't stop any commands that were already processed. Uh huh. That's out of my hands. Which means we'll still have to deal with the kaiju already generated. Yeah, but that would prevent new ones from being generated. Produced. Way too many. We could just verify their numbers. Hmm. We're going to need the sentinels after all. That may be best. Oh damn. Operation Aegis is too much of a risk. Uh, her face got really dark there at the end. In other words, the decode's activation is a blow you cannot recover from. No matter how you try to fix it, your plan is irreversibly impacted. The most direct fix would be eliminating the decode. Then, you would just restart the loop anew. Except we can't do that now. Because, you know, we found out that if we try to loop again, Sector Zero is history, and the facility is FUBARD. That would revert the situation back to the original plan. Which is, in essence, your goal. You're overthinking this. Overthinking it, am I? In order to trigger a loop, you need them to destroy all the Sector's mainframes. And therein lies your goal. You want this world destroyed so the timeline can be reset. 
but you have one major obstacle. I say the problem is the reset is Ida's goal, but we've already found out that one's screwed. And that's Operation Aegis. No, there's definitely something more. If Aegis goes off, we lose our simulation, right? Is that it? And then we're just stuck in the pods? Aegis isn't just an ordinary defense system. It causes a terminal to seal itself off in self-defense, preventing anyone from using it to control the world. Once all the terminals are sealed off, we'll be severed from the mainframe, effectively preventing any further loop or extinction. <sighs> but if that happens, your plan is null and void. We'd be stuck in a loop where your goal was impossible. Fine then. Let's say all your wild speculation is correct. Okay, it's good. What do you plan to do about it? <sighs> Let's backtrack a little bit. Really? We discussed the suspect of Miss Morimura's murder. Oh, oh, is he actually going to figure out that little Chihiro killed her? And you asked me who I think did it. Yep, he is. <laughs> yeah, we're fully going to accuse her of being the murderer. If you actually are Professor Chihiro Morimura, then I believe you personally murdered Miss Morimura. Did I now? Yes, you did. She was a staunch advocate of Operation Aegis. A thorn in your side, someone in the way of your reset. An interesting theory, if also an incorrect one. Really? Believe me. I'm pretty sure I saw I you shoot her. I understand why you'd view me with hostility. Certainly Renya Goto was responsible for chasing you out of Newman. Even if it was on Shikishima's behalf. A buyer simply eliminating liabilities. After that, you took the lead on Project Ark. Under Kengo Ogata's oversight. Oh, there's that name again, Kengo Ogata. Oh, thank you for letting me get some more information about this guy. Kengo Ogata, of course, being Nenji Ogata's father. And Shikishima's chairman, who recognized your talent. He passed away in 2187. His age caught up with him. Yeah, but you digitized but his brain. Kengo Ogata is perhaps more relevant. There it is. The one you created after his death using his memories. An AI construct. You were letting it control you. I was just getting advice. Really? Really now? <laughs> also, thank you for continuing to admit everything. Dug that out of a log too? Pretty much. Yes. Renya Goto found that AI. The log was recorded in the colony after your death. <laughs> so you wouldn't actually know everything from this part. Once your clone reaches 18 years of age, you set it so that she'd download your memories. <sighs> it's clear this project was not a selfish endeavor. I'm sure you felt a sense of duty to save humanity. But you were also trying to bring Kengo Ogata back to life. What are we gonna do, download him into Nenji? So Professor Morimura takes over Chihiro Morimura's clone. And presumably, Kengo Ogata would take over Nenji Ogata's clone. <laughs> That's why you're so intent on sticking to the plan. Certainly, from your perspective, Miss Murimura was expendable. She had to die. Her very survival endangered your ultimate goal. Well, that is a shame. Uh-oh, she got to shoot my ass now. This yep. isn't ideal, but you know too much. I was wondering when it was going to be when she pulled out the gun. Really? To be continued there? QED. <laughs> oh, he had a lock. Well, we'll find out what it is after I see what these uh, new files are. Oh, little Chihiro. When the 2188 Professor Chihiro Morimura's memories were restored to Chihiro, she witnessed the destruction caused by the Kaiju invasion and the extent of the situation's deviation from her original plan for Project Ark. Chihiro decides that for her plan to succeed, she'll need a fresh start with a new world devoid of all these problems and variables. Although they are both Chihiro Morimura, Morimura and her efforts to enable Operation Aegis were obstacles to the original plan, so Chihiro killed her. Ah, but you don't know that you can't loop anymore. Oh, 
Kengo Ogata, father of the 2188 Ninji Ogata, as well as the chairman of Shikishima Group. He died in 2187, but left behind a simulated AI construct of his personality. He is responsible for manipulating Professor Morimura and pressing Project Arc forward, planning to revive himself through the use of the Interlocitor and cloning technology on the new Earth. <laughs> the Automated Factories! Shihiro used her senior admin ID in the UFO's mainframe to stop the automated factory from producing kaiju. Ah, so at this point they have stopped. That's good. Fortunately, they built RPFs. So, you know, they keep building more of them. Also called the command ship or mothership in orbit. Shihiro accesses this in order to stop the automated factory's mass production of kaiju. Still, still late to the party. Okay, and that's everything. All right, what was his lock? Everyone else being completed. Okay, everyone else being completed. So Goto literally has the final event. Oh shit, ah, here we are. Initiating meta skill analysis. Meta skill analysis? This shouldn't take too long. Really now? I'll send you the data once it's ready. Oh, that would be great. But I must say, this is a surprise. Oh, is this how they unlocked the thing in 2-1? Okino-kun really managed to push this through? Mm-hmm. Integrating this half-coded thing into the control system? Thank you. <gasps> no, well, Okino wanted to tell you that. Thank you. Okino-kun said that? He said the analysis wasn't complete yet. So he appreciates your help with all this. Ah, uh, yep. I see. Yep, this is unlocking the little, uh, Anyone might think the upgrade system in 2-1. But you must be a truly exceptional individual. <laughs> the message was Okino's, and I'd like you to know I'm grateful as well. Now if you'll excuse me, I must return to the battle. <sighs> So he appreciates me, does he? Ah. Uh. Oh, and well, now we're back here. That is a shame. So we're gonna see how Chihiro didn't idea. shoot Goto. You know too much. Goodbye. <laughs> you cannot shoot me with that gun. <laughs> oh. So anyone who knows the truth of Aegis is a liability to you. And liabilities must be dealt with. Does that sum it up? <laughs> well, thanks for the gun, little girl. If you recall, I specifically acquired this gun for your purposes. You had concerns about self-defense. Ah. So, of course, it's registered to him, and it won't shoot him. I can guess what happens next. Now you're going to use it to shoot me. Nope. I mean, it's a thought, but, uh, I'm assuming, no, none of these are dark green, so. Perhaps I wasn't clear. For safety reasons, neither one of us can be shot with this gun. Oh, okay. I configured it very specifically. <laughs> ah, well, that was semi-smart of you. As I suspected, this gun records the time of its last discharge. The moment you shot Morimura. And that time looks to be a near match for Miss Morimura's estimated time of death. Which suggests... You use this gun to murder her. Yeppo. Now, on the day of the crime, you yourself were using the drone to keep tabs on Miss Morimura, weren't you? Based off of your expenses for that day. <laughs> I presume you took a taxi to the crime scene. Uh, God damn, Goto! You, have in that pocketbook? you are a smart little SOB. Are you just playing dumb this whole time. <laughs> oh man, you should be a prosecutor for Phoenix Wright. When Good lord! Realize, what gave away that I was the professor and not her? Oh, Miura. Miura gave it away. There was a specific moment. It was back when Miura found you here. Ah. You described Miura as an excellent design engineer. 
Oh. But the Miura of 2188 was the design engineer, not him. Did you dig that out of Renya Goto's log too? No. That I learned through Miura, the AI of Sentinel number 17. <laughs> he also told me about the existence of the logs. Yeah. So, what happens to me now? If you're not killing me, I assume you're at least locking me up? Nope. Considering what you did to Miss Morimura, I'm admittedly conflicted. Yeah, well, if you knew what I knew, you'd know that she was basically screwed anyway. But giving into my emotional reaction wouldn't solve anything. Vengeance isn't going to bring her back. So, with that in mind, I would rather choose the path that gets me closer to the truth. You and me both. That is what I want now. To see what lies at the end of all this. To see what she never could. <sighs> you told an obvious lie. You made it clear Jiro Izumi was not your... cup of tea. Yet you and Izumi shared an intimate relationship in the year 2188. <laughs> that was clear enough from all the evidence I found. Oh, oh look at her, she's blushing! You and Izumi, together in Sector 1. You died before you could set up the memory transplant. At that point, I can only assume... Izumi followed your Izumi instructions. Izumi with you, and helped carry out your vision. Half surprised Izumi didn't set up his own memory transplant. I can certainly understand Kengo Ogata's motive. He just wants to live again. But you... Why are you so intent on transplanting your memory? Because... There has to be a leader. <laughs> really? Without someone to guide them, teams dissolve into fear, spite, resentment. It'd be the colony all over again. <sighs> and you think you're that leader. I see. As I suspected. Your devotion to this goal is inspiring, in some ways. <sighs> Are you a gambling woman? Really? That's an odd question to ask. I'd like to propose a bet. Oh. We'll leave the terminals alone for you. We won't let Aegis seal everything off. Oh. Uh -huh. Your loop would still be viable. And in exchange? As it currently stands, it'd be impossible to revert to your original plan without some compromise. But consider this. Even this final phase won't truly be the end. Mm -hmm. We'll have plenty of struggles beyond it. Plenty more pain ahead of us. If we can prove to you that we will overcome that, if we prove to you that we can face the unknown, then are we not worthy to take up your cause, inheriting your goal, and seeing it through? Ah. You make an interesting point so this is uh this is what they meant by that bet from earlier i remember that being mentioned once and i was always kind of curious about it we can solve this problem ourselves so my proposal is this let us fight our war no sabotage if we fail then i could hardly object to a reset anyway yeah well if it does reset you're all really screwed that's your bet? You don't stand a chance. Well, I suppose we'll see about that. <laughs> yeah, we will. Oh. Aegis activated. Is anyone too compromised to keep fighting? Oh. Well, we've barely had a moment to breathe. Yeah, this is near the end. Is, it, is this may very well be the very last loop, okay. we, or not loop, the very last fight we just had. There are three terminals remaining. It is. This is literally the fight we just had. We can protect two of them with Aegis, but we're on our own with the last terminal. How much longer do we need to hold out? We need to reestablish a connection with Miyuki Inaba. That's still 10 hours off. 10 hours we don't have. But her plan is our last hope. Then we fight to the last, until we have nothing left. <sighs> the Kaiju are heading for the next terminal. Yep. Brace yourself, Keitaro. We are soldiers, and this is 
is the moment we trained for. Hours, days, it doesn't matter. We'll hold the line. Let's go. Oh, look at Shihiro. Yep. If you're out there, please respond. Oh. Does she not want to respond? Oh, there we go. What is it now? You, <laughs> you know a way to link up with the command ship. One that doesn't rely on its position, don't you? Oh. You're speaking of when I revise the decode. Right now. That shortcut. And this is where you reveal some new leverage over me. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what log you found this time. No. This time, I'm asking a favor. Shit. You have to be joking. You do realize the position I'm already in? I do. Even still, all I can do is beg. Damn. I just want us to have a chance. This is the most idiotic. <laughs> I lied to you, you know. Do you know which lie I'm talking about? Mm, actually, no, I don't. When I said I wasn't going to like you. <laughs> you're you an rascal. infuriating man, Renya Goto. Chirosan. <sighs> Ready? Everyone, listen to me. We can communicate with the command ship out of range. I'm realigning the three surveillance satellites to their relay positions. Aha! Uh -huh. We should be connected soon. However, the satellites have to move outside their preset tracks. They'll enter the gravity well and plummet to Earth. Mm. Your connection will only last until they hit the surface. You'll barely have any time to do this. Am I clear? Ah, I see. This is a Hail Mary. Honestly, humans can be so irrational. <laughs> Though, I guess, I might be the most irrational one here. Yeah, fair enough. If you actually manage to pull this off, then I expect you all to take responsibility. Shihiro. Good luck. Aww. Big brother. Aww. Almost connected. Oh, that was sweet. Your only chance. Okay, so there is going to be a big final fight. Oh, hey! It seems to have worked! In the final battle. Oh, there it is. Goto's story cleared. And five mystery files have been updated. There it is. All stories cleared. Alright. Let's see these final files. Oh. The Izumi of 2188 shared an intimate relationship with Professor Morimura. Since Morimura died before she could execute the memory transplant, Izumi carries out her plan of transplanting her memories as Professor Morimura into her clone, Shihiro Morimura. <laughs> ah. Kitaro! The scar on Miura's forehead is the result of Tsukasa Okino's nanomachine adjustment, which restarts the sentinels that stopped working due to DT-426. Without losing his mind and suffering the effects of DD-426, Miura managed to endure the pain as the data necessary for starting up the Sentinels was completed. Once Okino realizes this, he installs a feature so that the data will spread to anyone who comes into contact with Miura. Ah, so that's how they get around the 426 issue. Ah, that's handy. When Amaguchi was shot by Megumi up on the rooftop, it activated Sentinel-20. Prior to this, Amaguchi had already come into contact with Keitaro Miura when he had to carry Miura back to his house after Nenji's altercation at the shopping district. Oh! For that reason, Amaguchi was already affected by the force activation code for Sentinels that Tsukasa Okino embedded into Miura. That's a nice little hole they just filled! What do we got here for Okino? While the Sentinels couldn't be activated due to the effects of DT-426, Okino got them operational again by creating a code that reconstructed the nano machines to nullify the effect of DD-426. He applied the code to Miura, Sentinel number 19, which led to the completion of the Sentinel activation data. Furthermore, he made it so the completed data would spread to the other pilots as long as they come into contact with Miura. 
Okie no, you sneaky son of a bitch. In 1945, DD-426 was successfully disabled thanks to Okino's nanomachine reconstruction and Kitaro Miura's efforts. <sighs> I cannot believe he actually managed to pull that off. And I think that's all of them, right? We are out of all of those. And here, this, this is going to be huge. All right, I'm betting we're just missing. Wow, there is, there's a lot. Whew. Okay, so we may actually be looking at one seriously long final episode here if I got to do at least two, maybe three fights. Hm. Well, that's going to be it for this one, guys. We are pushing the finale. One, maybe two more episodes, depending on how long these last couple fights take. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, really are in the Matrix. How much have we seen has been just pure simulation and how much is actually in the real world. Who knows? Well, we might know at the end, we may not. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite and subscribe to join me as we hurdle towards the finale of this insanely amazing game. But until then, see you guys in the next video.